Hey, so I'm gonna use things set to set those tiles. Uh, I just space them out in, on top of this table so we could see uh, how it look like. Um, I set this board on top of those thick ones here and it's, it looks like this. So I'm about to mix uh, modify thing set thing set um, with plastic polymer plastic um, and let's see how it goes okay so I'm mixing this guy here uh, flexible bond apparently this is a has some plastic polymer and it's pretty hard to mix this. Not sure if I mixed all the way, but I gotta wait for 10 to 15 minutes and mix it again. And then I'm gonna put it on the table. So I took all of the tiles out of here. Then let's see how it works out. Those are the tiles. That's the thing set. This is the table. Okay. Holy cow. This is very heavy. spreading out like an even layer? No, I need to use this, uh -huh. but I'm finishing mixing because I cannot have those lumps. Mm. See, that's better. And we gotta spread this all over the table. That's how I learned. But I've never done that before. After it's all there, I need to do like this, and then set the tiles. So pretty even, but not perfect. Just yeah. Every single part of the bottom. No, as much as we can. So we did all of this. Now we are putting the tiles in and spacers and stuff. Uh, so basically what we do is like this and we squeeze the sideways just to be sure this was too much. Um, sideways just to be sure that everywhere touch, touches touches uh, <laughs> my teacher here. Um, 
the thing set and that's basically it so let's see how it turns out so we did all over the table uh, I think there is yeah just one slight pop, pop. I'm just trying to make sure all the corners are down on the floor. So we put the tile like a little further and I do like this. Yep. Squish it in there. So that would do the job. And this one here. can see moving and making a lot of strength um, and I'll be sure that there is no excess of cement here so the grout can cover the space and be sure that you don't put cement in your had to uh, on the tiles and everywhere because I don't think that will come out maybe an expert can correct me if I'm wrong but as I've seen this thing doesn't dry very quickly <coughs> yep yeah and there you go Let's make another one in a little bit. Let's see the expert. <laughs> this is a bad one to show because these are really uneven. Yeah, it's okay Look because this. because this is smaller and this is normal. Bigger? Yeah. So, so I'm gonna put this one down a little bit. It's then. okay. Yeah, there we go. that's good. So this is the last one we put here, squish back and forth, this goes here too, and let's go for these spacers, spacers. that's what I have, oh that will be a little over because that's a smaller. it so now you're gonna just pick in some of them to be sure that we have enough contact and that's how we are doing just we set them there next time what we should do is like put some in half of the table the other half for later before they dry so not enough um, cool that's it like this put them here Okay, now the next step is I need to use something to protect this wood against the weather. Um, so we got this Lurethan semi gloss finishing. It's clear, so you just keep the color on the wood, but it makes it come to life. Look at this. Is here. I don't know. I think the light doesn't let us see it. 
that you can see very well here. So I'm applying a thing called um, being sure that I get everywhere. Not that thing, the same thing, but it's a uh, It's beautiful. So we gotta go all around. You can see the difference in the color here. Look at this part. And look at this part. This is kinda uh, not glossy. This is awesome. I love this. Cool. Let's see how it turns out. Okay, grout time. We bought this grout, sanded grout, buttercream color. Um, I think this brand is good. I mix with this guy here to block the water. Uh, and then I started already, but you can see, like, it's pretty easy. You mix the thing, it has this consistency. It's like soft poop. <laughs> and then you do like this. The non sanded one we tried before, and it's very hard. I start cracking, and I don't know. The tiles are uneven, so I don't think we can use something that can be used to one eighth of an inch uh, so this is what I'm doing right now you gotta squish very hard and to be sure that you cover it all the way uh, and after it's done 15 minutes you just uh, wipe with a piece or a sponge very gently after five minutes you do that again it'll be basically clean 30 minutes later you just get your a piece of cloth and polish all the uh, the tiles so that's basically everything you need to do just taking the excess material out of here uh, let's do the corner here and it's very important to have this tool <laughs> my wife just touched here and said talk about that um, to have this little tool it's like we paid four bucks on Ace Hardware Store I like to buy stuff in Home Depot but they just opened an Ace close to our house so it's like this kind of rubbery plastic very simple thing uh, I was using something else in the first one it, it wasn't that easy but I'm not sure if it was because I used using not center grout grout and the wrong tube so it's very important to have the right tube and See at the end how it goes.